First things first, I want to thank the viewers who are who are joining us for the first time today. Okay, because you guys have been with with us since the beginning, and a lot of this crazy ex American experiment we call the Last Bansom Program. As a typical American viewer, you may be uh, acclimated to some sort of moral depravity from the sordid landscape that is today's entertainment industry. But uh, you should know the last by Nielsen show does not subscribe to those same beliefs or lack of rather. All right, this is a this is a show with real moral fiber with exactness of purpose and intent, you know. So much so that I prepared with with ex with exact precision, a mission statement that sums up where, what we're all about, and I'll read that now. The, the Lags by Nielsen show is a entertainment. It, it serves the people well and with dignity, not a bad show, one with promise and fire beneath it. Well, that doesn't make any sense. That's a typo-ridden, incoherent mishmash. I've been seeing all these people, late night people doing the, co like Cone Brine and Jimmy Flannel doing this whole late night from home. So I'm thinking, what's stopping me from having a show from home like these bigwigs, you know? I mean, besides the obvious lack of fan base and, and, and talent, I saw the program with John Krasinski. With John Krasinski, the, um, some good news. Uh, yeah, Some Good News is a uh, it's a comedy news show based around the premise that they only show they only do nice comedy and they only do news you know that's that's nice and and good and kind you know I have a problem with this because for one comedy isn't supposed to be nice also news isn't supposed to be good and John Krasinski he isn't nice or good okay I've seen some of the the depraved behavior he engages in. I know him. I once saw, I once saw John, you know, put a coworker's, a coworker's supplies in jello. If you think that's the kind of behavior that is endorsed by Last by Nielsen, well, you well get ready for a surprise party, buddy. <laughs> you know what I mean? In fact, I'll let you on a little secret. Yeah, and this will this is a story about John Krasinski. It can make your hair curl, okay? I was on the phone with John the other day. Uh, it was a month ago, and he was telling me, you know, how he be, he was a changed man. I said, John, you're the most depraved psychopath I know. He said, I know, I know, I know. But something happened that really changed my perspective. I said, John, what was it? He said, I got a dog. I said, John, that's you know, that's that's nice. How you do that? He says, yeah. He says, yeah. I, I, and all of a sudden, I'm not angry or, or um, as depraved or evil as I was before. I'm like, John, what do you, what do you think? It, what, what, what made the, what about getting a dog made the change? He says, well, turns out all I needed was something to take my anger out on. <laughs> what? Some good news for you John Krasinski fans out there. Simple Jim's just kicking dogs. There's a headline. And I thought that was the first time John Krasinski had engaged that kind of behavior. But I'll tell you what, nope, 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 nope. It's a pattern of wickedness. I was, I was sitting on a couch watching TV with him the other day, all right? And then uh, one of those commercials for the homeless shelters for dogs and cats, the uh, uh, Humane Society comes on. All right, we're sitting watch it. I say, oh, look at that golden retriever. He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, and John said, yeah, you think so? Oh, that's funny. That's the dog I had last year. I said, John Krasinski. I mean, is that the face of a nice guy? John Krasinski, more like Ted Kaczynski. Any relation there? I mean, I mean probably it rhymes. That's enough about John Krasinski. Let's let his conscience work at him for a while. That's what I say. Everyone's confused about this coronavirus, all right? I'll tell you what the real issue is uh, happening now. It's this, the uh, change shortage, the coin shortage, okay? If there's a coin shortage and we run out of coins, how are we going to get the gumballs out of the gumball machines? 
You know who I feel bad for during this, this whole apocalypse? Is the people who converted all their money to gold while prepping for it. Because, you know, when I go into a place during the coin shortage, they never have a sign that says, please use exact change, a debit card, or gold. I actually know the solution to this crisis we call the coin shortage. I know where all the coins are. They're in a mason jar in my grandpa's attic. Here's the one good thing about a coin shortage. If there's a coin shortage, then you can't get a penny. If you can't get a penny, then you certainly can't get a penny for your thoughts. If you can't get a penny for your thoughts, then your thoughts are worthless. If your thoughts are worthless, you know, you don't post them on Facebook, you know? Two to 39 times a day.